Hi everybody and welcome back to a new English grammar video. We have selected two future tenses as a topic for this video. They are not so common but it's still very important to know how to use them. It's the will be doing tense and the will have done tense. And we start with the situation here. You love football and this evening your favorite team is on TV. The match starts at 7 o'clock and ends at 8.45. Your friend Mark wants to see you the same evening and asks when he can come. And this is the conversation that you have. Mark, is it okay if I come at 7.30? You, no. I'll be watching football then. Mark, okay, what about 9 o'clock? And you, that's better. The match will have finished by then. So your first answer is, no, I'll be watching football. And the second answer is, the match will have finished by then. And let's have a closer look at this. I will be doing something like, I will be watching football or at 10 o'clock tomorrow, we will be working. Now this whole tense is called future continuous. And to produce it, it, it is really easy. It's will plus B plus ing form, so you don't have to worry about this. This is really easy stuff. It's more important to know when to use it. And we use it when at some time in the future, somebody will be in the middle of doing something. So at eight o'clock this evening, I will be watching football. I will be in the middle of watching football. And at 10 o'clock tomorrow, we will be working. We will be in the middle of working. We will have started sometime before and be right in the middle of doing something. And this is when we use the so-called future continuous. And the continuous, of course, is a progressive. It means ing form. Let's have a look at some other continuous forms and we'll find out quickly that the meaning basically is the same. I was sleeping when you called me. This is the past continuous, the past progressive. And we want to express, yesterday when you called me, I was in the middle of sleeping. I was in the middle of doing something. So the past continuous kind of is like the future continuous. We're in the middle of doing something. It's just the tense that is different. What are you doing? I'm reading. The present continuous, of course, the present progressive. It's, it's almost always a way of asking, what are you doing at the very moment? Well, right now I'm reading. I'm in the middle of reading. And of course, our new tense here, our future continuous. In two weeks time, I'll be lying on the beach. I'll be having holiday and I'll be lying on the beach. I'll be in the middle of lying on the beach. This is what the continuous forms actually want to express. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so much for the I will be doing the future continuous. And now we've got the I will have done something. Like at nine o'clock, the match will have finished. This is different from the will be doing, obviously. At nine o'clock, your mom says, my son will have gone to bed, so don't call him so late. At nine o'clock, my son will have gone to bed, so don't call him so late. This tense is called future perfect. And the production again is quite easy. It's will plus have, it's always have, there is no has here, it's will plus have plus past participle. So this is like a simple present perfect just with have, like have plus past participle and put a will in front of it. And we use it when we want to express that at some point in the future an action will already be complete, will already be finished. The action will, will not be in the middle of the action like with the future continuous. No, the action will be complete. At nine o'clock, the match will have finished. It will finish sometime before nine o'clock. So at nine o'clock, it will have finished. At nine o'clock, my son will have gone to bed. He goes to bed at 
say, 8.55, so at 9 o'clock he will have gone to bed. We use it when at some point in the future an action will already be complete and finished. And this is when we use the future perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so much for the future continuous and the future perfect. Now I have a page with a couple of sentences for you. And this is a little exercise. I want you to stop the video now. Please hit the pause button and read the sentences and then rewrite them and put in the future continuous will be plus ink form or the future perfect will have plus past participle. Okay, and there's only one solution for each gap, of course. So stop the video now, please. Get pen and paper ready, write down your sentences, and when you're finished, then you can actually start the video again and we go over what you've put down. All right, and here we are back again. This is your first sentence. Don't come by, blah, blah, blah. We will be having lunch then. Future continuous. But we'll have finished at one o'clock. Don't come by at 12. We'll be having lunch. We will be in the middle of having lunch. You know, but lunch finishes like at 12.50, for example. So at one o'clock, we'll have finished. So then you can stop by. Second sentence. I can't come and see you tomorrow afternoon. I will be working. The whole afternoon I will be in the middle of working. All right, so this is a clear case of the future continuous. Next sentence. If you continue like this, you will have spent all your money before the end of the month. The spending here, the action, will already be complete before the end of the month. There will be no money left over, so we need the future perfect. If you continue like this, you will have spent all your money before the end of the month. Will you still be living in your parents' house in 10 years' time? Goes into the future, of course. And in 10 years, will you still be in the middle of living in your parents' house, future continuous, just put into a question. By the end of the, my trip, I will have traveled more than 2,000 miles. The trip is over, the action is complete. I will have traveled, then is finished also, and we need the future perfect because we're kind of looking back into the past from a future point. By the end of my trip, I will have traveled more than 2,000 miles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's it for the future continuous and the future perfect. Thanks for watching. You know that we've got plenty of videos ready for you and I'm sure we will see each other again at another video. So we say bye-bye and have a good time.